Have you ever felt like someone else's words or actions have too much control over how you feel? Do you find yourself seeking approval from others to feel good about yourself? What if you could take back your power and no longer be at the mercy of external influences? Imagine a day where you wake up feeling confident, grounded, and unaffected by the negativity or judgment of others. You navigate your day with a sense of inner peace and strength, no matter what comes your way. Sounds amazing, right? Think about a time when someone criticized you and it ruined your whole day. Maybe it was a comment about your work, your appearance, or something you said. That single moment had the power to overshadow all the positive things in your life. But what if it didn't have to be that way? Welcome to Wisdom Woven. In this video, we're going to explore how to reclaim your personal power using the wisdom of Buddhism. We'll dive into practical tips and insights that can help you stay grounded and self-assured, no matter what life throws at you. If you enjoy this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's aim for 1,000 likes on this video. Your support helps us bring more valuable content to you. Now, let's talk about why it's so easy to give our power away. From a young age, we're taught to seek validation from others. Good grades, compliments, social media likes. These external affirmations can make us feel valued and loved, but relying on them means our self-worth is always at the mercy of others. Buddhism offers a path to break free from this cycle. At its core, Buddhism teaches us about the impermanence of all things. Nothing is fixed and everything is constantly changing. This includes the opinions and actions of others. When we truly understand this, we can start to let go of the need for external validation. Another key Buddhist concept is mindfulness. Being mindful means being fully present in the moment, aware of our thoughts and feelings without judgment. This practice helps us recognize when we're giving our power away and allows us to take a step back and reassess. For example, imagine you're at work and a colleague makes a snide comment. Instead of reacting immediately, take a deep breath and observe your feelings. Acknowledge the hurt or anger, but don't let it control you. By practicing mindfulness, you can choose how to respond rather than reacting impulsively. Detachment is another powerful Buddhist principle. Detachment doesn't mean being indifferent or uncaring. It means not being overly attached to outcomes, people, or material possessions. When we detach, we free ourselves from the constant need for approval and the fear of criticism. Consider a tree in a storm. The branches may sway and bend, but the tree remains rooted. Similarly, when we cultivate inner strength and detachment, we can remain steady and grounded no matter what challenges come our way. It's important to remember that reclaiming your power is a journey, not a destination. It requires patience, practice, and self-compassion. There will be times when you slip up and let others' opinions affect you. That's okay. What's important is to keep practicing and being kind to yourself along the way. In the upcoming parts of this video, we'll delve deeper into these concepts and explore practical exercises to help you integrate them into your daily life. We'll cover topics like the role of meditation, the importance of self-compassion, and how to build resilience. By the end of this video series, you'll have a toolkit of strategies to help you stay empowered and centered. You'll learn how to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and confidence, drawing on the timeless wisdom of Buddhism. So stay tuned and let's embark on this transformative journey together. Remember, your power is always within you. It's time to reclaim it and live a life of inner peace and strength. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven. Let's hit that 1000 likes target and spread this empowering message far and wide. Lesson one, understanding personal power. Personal power is something everyone has within themselves. It's the ability to make decisions, take action, and control your own life. In this part, we will explore what personal power means and why it's essential to hold on to it. Imagine a candle flame. That flame represents your inner strength and energy. When you give your power to others, it's like letting them blow out your candle. Keeping your candle lit means maintaining your personal power. Personal power isn't about dominating others. 
It's about having confidence in your abilities and making choices that align with your true self. It's about knowing who you are and standing firm in your values. In Buddhism, personal power is closely related to the concept of self-awareness. Being aware of your thoughts, emotions, and actions helps you stay grounded and true to yourself. This awareness is the first step in reclaiming your power. Think about a time when you felt completely in control of your life. Maybe it was a moment when you made a decision that positively impacted your future. That feeling is what personal power is all about. Buddhism teaches us that we often lose our power when we cling to things that are beyond our control. These can be people, outcomes, or material possessions. By letting go of these attachments, we can regain our personal power. Another key aspect of personal power is responsibility. When you take responsibility for your actions and decisions, you empower yourself. Blaming others for your circumstances only weakens your power. Consider the story of a tree in a storm. A strong tree with deep roots stands firm, while a weaker tree may fall. Your personal power is like the roots of the tree. The deeper and stronger they are, the more resilient you become. In Buddhism, meditation is a powerful tool to strengthen personal power. Through meditation, you can calm your mind, gain clarity, and reconnect with your inner strength. It's like watering the roots of your tree. Personal power also involves setting boundaries. It's okay to say no to things that don't serve your well-being. By setting boundaries, you protect your energy and maintain your power. Think of your personal power as a precious gem. It's valuable and unique to you. Protecting it means valuing yourself and your worth. This mindset is crucial for maintaining your power. Buddhism emphasizes the importance of inner peace. When you are at peace with yourself, you are less likely to give your power away to others. Inner peace creates a strong foundation for personal power. A practical way to reclaim your power is through positive affirmations. Remind yourself daily of your strengths and capabilities. Positive affirmations reinforce your belief in yourself and your power. Sometimes we lose our power by comparing ourselves to others. Buddhism teaches us that everyone is on their own unique path. Embracing your journey without comparison helps you hold onto your power. Personal power is also about resilience. Life will always have challenges, but how you respond to them determines your power. By staying positive and persistent, you strengthen your personal power. Gratitude is another powerful practice in Buddhism. Being grateful for what you have shifts your focus from lack to abundance. This shift in perspective enhances your personal power. Surrounding yourself with supportive people can also boost your power. Positive relationships encourage you to be your best self and reinforce your inner strength. In Buddhism, the concept of impermanence teaches us that everything is constantly changing. Accepting this truth helps you let go of the need to control everything, which in turn strengthens your personal power. Remember, your personal power is always within you. It's not something external that you need to find. It's about recognizing and nurturing the power you already have. Empowering yourself is a continuous journey. Every step you take towards self-awareness, mindfulness, and inner peace enhances your personal power. It's a path worth walking. As you continue to explore and understand your personal power, remember that it's a vital part of your being. Embrace it, nurture it, and never give it away. Your power is your light. Let it shine brightly. Lesson 2. The Concept of Attachment in Buddhism Attachment is a fundamental concept in Buddhism, playing a critical role in understanding how we can avoid giving our power to others. It can be challenging to grasp at first, but it's crucial for personal growth and empowerment. Attachment refers to the emotional bonds we form with people, objects, and ideas. In Buddhism, these bonds can often lead to suffering. When we cling to things or people, we become dependent on them for our happiness and sense of self-worth. Imagine you're holding onto a rope that's tied to a heavy boulder. As long as you grip the rope, you're burdened by the boulder's weight. This is similar to how attachment works. By holding onto things tightly, we weigh ourselves down and give away our power. 
Buddhism teaches that letting go of these attachments can free us from unnecessary suffering. It doesn't mean we stop caring or become indifferent. Instead, it means we learn to appreciate things without becoming dependent on them. Consider a beautiful flower. You can admire its beauty and enjoy its fragrance without needing to own it. This mindset allows you to experience joy without attachment. When we release our attachments, we regain our power. We stop allowing external factors to control our emotions and well-being. This inner freedom is a key step in not giving our power to others. Think about a time when you felt hurt because someone didn't meet your expectations. That pain likely stemmed from an attachment to how you thought things should be. By releasing such expectations, you can find peace and maintain your power. In Buddhism, this concept is closely linked to the idea of impermanence. Everything in life is transient and constantly changing. By understanding and accepting this, we can let go of our attachments more easily. Letting go doesn't mean losing interest or giving up on things. It means engaging with the world in a healthier, more balanced way. It's about finding joy in the present moment without clinging to it. Imagine holding sand in your hand. If you grip it too tightly, it slips through your fingers. But if you hold it gently, you can appreciate its texture and warmth. This is the essence of non-attachment. Practicing non-attachment doesn't happen overnight. It's a gradual process of mindfulness and self-awareness. Start by observing your thoughts and emotions without judgment. Notice when you're becoming overly attached to something. Buddhist teachings encourage us to cultivate a state of equanimity. This means maintaining a calm and balanced mind, regardless of what's happening around us. It's about finding stability within ourselves. One way to practice non-attachment is through meditation. Regular meditation helps us become more aware of our attachments and teaches us how to let go of them gently. Another practice is to reflect on the impermanent nature of life. Remind yourself that everything is temporary. This awareness can help reduce the fear of loss and the desire to cling. Engaging in acts of kindness and compassion can also shift our focus from attachment to connection. When we help others without expecting anything in return, we experience a sense of fulfillment that doesn't rely on attachment. It's important to remember that non-attachment doesn't mean isolation. We can still form meaningful relationships and pursue our passions. The key is to do so without becoming dependent on them for our happiness. As we let go of attachments, we create space for true freedom and empowerment. We begin to live more authentically, guided by our inner wisdom rather than external influences. Buddhism teaches that the root of suffering lies in our attachments. By understanding this, we can take steps to reduce our suffering and reclaim our power. In summary, the concept of attachment in Buddhism offers valuable insights into how we can stop giving our power to others. By letting go of our attachments, we find inner peace, freedom, and a more empowered way of living. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into these principles and explore practical steps to integrate them into our lives. Remember, each step we take towards understanding and releasing our attachments brings us closer to a more empowered and fulfilling life. Lesson 3. The Role of Mindfulness Mindfulness is a concept many of us have heard about, but do we really understand its power? In this part, we'll dive deep into mindfulness and see how it can transform our lives. Imagine being able to control how you respond to everything around you, rather than just reacting without thinking. That's the essence of mindfulness. It gives you the power to stay calm and focused, no matter what's happening. Mindfulness isn't just for monks or those living in seclusion. It's for everyone, including you and me. Mindfulness is about being fully present in the moment. Often, we find ourselves worrying about the future or dwelling on the past. This takes away our peace and control over our own minds. When we're mindful, we can focus on what's happening right now, which helps us stay grounded and in control. Let's start with a simple exercise. Take a deep breath and feel the air entering your lungs. Hold it for a moment and then slowly exhale. Notice how this simple act of breathing can bring a sense of calm. This is the first step towards mindfulness. 
In Buddhism, mindfulness is a key practice. It's known as sati, which means awareness, attention, and remembering. By practicing mindfulness, Buddhists believe we can free ourselves from suffering and find true happiness. It's not about escaping reality, but engaging with it fully and deeply. Mindfulness helps us see things clearly. When we're mindful, we can observe our thoughts and feelings without being overwhelmed by them. This means we can choose how to respond rather than reacting impulsively. For example, if someone says something hurtful, instead of lashing out, we can take a moment to breathe and respond calmly. This practice also allows us to let go of negative emotions. When we notice anger or frustration arising, we can acknowledge these feelings without letting them control us. By doing this, we don't give our power away to those emotions. Instead, we remain in control. Mindfulness isn't just about meditation. It can be practiced in everyday activities. When you're eating, pay attention to the taste and texture of your food. When you're walking, notice the feeling of your feet touching the ground. These small practices can make a big difference. Being mindful can improve our relationships too. When we're fully present with others, we listen better and communicate more effectively. This can lead to deeper connections and less conflict. Imagine how much better our interactions would be if everyone practiced mindfulness. Mindfulness can also boost our productivity. When we're focused on one task at a time, we can work more efficiently and make fewer mistakes. It's about quality, not quantity. By giving our full attention to what we're doing, we can achieve more with less stress. In today's fast-paced world, mindfulness can be a refuge. It helps us slow down and appreciate the present moment. This can lead to greater satisfaction and joy in our daily lives. Instead of rushing through life, we can savor each experience. Mindfulness isn't about perfection. It's a practice that requires patience and persistence. Even experienced practitioners sometimes struggle with distractions. The key is to gently bring your attention back to the present whenever you notice your mind wandering. One of the greatest benefits of mindfulness is that it helps us understand ourselves better. By observing our thoughts and feelings, we gain insights into our patterns and behaviors. This self-awareness is the first step towards personal growth and transformation. Mindfulness can also help reduce stress and anxiety. When we're focused on the present, we're not worrying about what might happen or regretting what has happened. This can bring a sense of peace and calm to our minds and bodies. For those dealing with chronic pain or illness, mindfulness can be a powerful tool. By focusing on the present moment, we can reduce our perception of pain and improve our quality of life. It's not about ignoring the pain but changing our relationship with it. Mindfulness can be especially helpful in making decisions. When we're present and aware, we can think more clearly and make choices that align with our values and goals. This helps us take control of our lives and steer them in the direction we want to go. Incorporating mindfulness into our daily routine doesn't have to be complicated. Start with a few minutes each day and gradually increase the time as you become more comfortable. The important thing is to be consistent and patient with yourself. Remember, mindfulness is a journey, not a destination. It's about progress, not perfection. Every moment of mindfulness is a step towards greater awareness and control over our lives. By embracing mindfulness, we can reclaim our power and live more fulfilling lives. It helps us break free from automatic reactions and make conscious choices. This is how we stop giving our power to others and start living with intention. So, take a deep breath, be present, and embrace the power of mindfulness. It's a simple practice with profound benefits that can transform your life one moment at a time. Lesson 4. The Practice of Detachment Detachment is a powerful practice that can transform your life. Imagine living without constantly feeling hurt or upset by what others say or do. Detachment helps you find peace within yourself, no matter what is happening around you. It's like being the calm center of a storm. Many people think detachment means not caring. But in Buddhism, detachment means loving deeply without clinging. You can care for someone without letting their actions control your emotions. This is true freedom. Picture holding a beautiful butterfly. 
You admire its beauty, but you don't squeeze it tightly. You let it rest on your hand freely, knowing it may fly away at any moment. This is how detachment works. You enjoy the moment without trying to control it. To start practicing detachment, begin by observing your thoughts and feelings. Notice when you are getting too attached to something or someone. Ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? What am I afraid of losing? This awareness is the first step. A useful technique is to take a few deep breaths and remind yourself that everything is temporary. This moment, this feeling, this situation, it will all pass. This helps you to let go of unnecessary attachments and stay calm. Another helpful practice is to meditate on impermanence. Spend a few minutes each day reflecting on the fact that life is always changing. Embrace the idea that change is a natural part of life. This can make it easier to let go. Consider the story of a Zen master and his student. The student asked, Master, how do I achieve peace? The master replied, Remove I, that is ego. Remove want, that is desire. What remains is peace. This story teaches us that detachment comes from letting go of ego and desires. It's also important to set healthy boundaries. Respect yourself enough to walk away from situations or people that drain your energy. Detachment doesn't mean you isolate yourself. It means you choose relationships that uplift and support you. Practicing detachment can also improve your relationships. When you are not clinging to others, you give them space to be themselves. This creates a healthier and more loving connection. Remember, detachment is not something you achieve overnight. It is a daily practice. Be patient with yourself as you learn to let go and find inner peace. Journaling can be a powerful tool in this process. Write about your feelings and experiences with detachment. Reflect on what you have learned and how you can improve. Think of detachment like pruning a plant. You remove the dead leaves and branches to help the plant grow stronger and healthier. By letting go of what no longer serves you, you allow yourself to flourish. Detachment also helps you to focus on the present moment. When you are not worried about the past or the future, you can fully enjoy what is happening right now. This is the essence of mindfulness. Another way to practice detachment is through gratitude. Appreciate what you have without fearing that you will lose it. Gratitude shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have, reducing attachment. Surround yourself with positive influences. Read books, watch videos, and listen to talks that inspire you to let go and find peace. Fill your mind with uplifting thoughts. Practice acts of kindness without expecting anything in return. This helps you to give freely without attachment. It's a powerful way to cultivate a detached and loving heart. Visualize yourself as a tree with deep roots. The wind may blow, but you remain grounded. This imagery can help you feel stable and secure, no matter what happens around you. Seek out a community of like-minded individuals who are also on a path of detachment and inner peace. Sharing your journey with others can provide support and encouragement. Finally, remember that detachment is about finding freedom within yourself. It's about reclaiming your power and living a life of peace and joy. As you practice detachment, you will discover a deeper sense of fulfillment and happiness. Embrace the practice of detachment with an open heart. It is a journey worth taking. Keep going, and you will see the positive changes it brings to your life. Lesson 5. Recognizing and Overcoming External Influences Imagine you're having a great day. The sun is shining, and everything seems to be going your way. Suddenly, someone makes a negative comment, and your mood shifts instantly. Has this ever happened to you? Why do we let others have so much power over our emotions and well-being? In this part, we'll explore how to recognize and overcome these external influences, using simple yet powerful insights from Buddhism. We often give our power away without even realizing it. It happens when we let someone else's opinion dictate how we feel about ourselves. It happens when we allow external circumstances to control our happiness. But what if we could change that? What if we could learn to maintain our inner peace, 
no matter what's happening around us. Welcome to Wisdom Woven. If you're finding this video helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Together, we can explore the wisdom of Buddhism and find ways to reclaim our personal power. In Buddhism, there's a teaching that says, peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. This means that true peace and happiness aren't found in external things or people. They come from within us. When we understand this, we can start to reclaim our power. One way to do this is by practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness helps us become aware of our thoughts and feelings without getting caught up in them. When someone says something hurtful, instead of reacting immediately, we can take a moment to breathe and observe our emotions. This simple practice creates a space between the stimulus and our response, giving us more control over how we react. Another important concept in Buddhism is non-attachment. Non-attachment doesn't mean we don't care about anything. It means we don't cling to things or people for our happiness. When we're not attached, we can enjoy the good moments and endure the bad ones without being overly affected by them. This balance helps us maintain our inner peace. Think about how often we blame others for our negative emotions. He made me angry. Or, she ruined my day. In reality, no one can make us feel anything without our consent. By taking responsibility for our own emotions, we empower ourselves to choose how we feel. One practical way to start taking back your power is by setting boundaries. Boundaries are limits we set to protect our well-being. They can be physical, emotional, or mental. For example, if someone is constantly negative, you might choose to spend less time with them. Or, if a particular situation always stresses you out, you might avoid it when possible. Setting boundaries is an act of self-care. It's also helpful to surround yourself with positive influences. Just as negativity can bring you down, positivity can lift you up. Seek out people and environments that support your growth and well-being. Positive energy is contagious, and being around it can help you maintain your inner strength. In Buddhism, there's a practice called loving-kindness meditation. This involves sending goodwill and loving thoughts to yourself and others. By regularly practicing loving-kindness, you cultivate a sense of compassion and connection, which can strengthen your resilience against negative influences. Remember, reclaiming your power is a journey. It's about making small, consistent changes in how you think and respond. It's not about being perfect, but about making progress. Sometimes, we might slip up and let others affect us. When this happens, it's important to be gentle with ourselves. Self-compassion is key. Recognize that you're human and that it's okay to make mistakes. Learn from the experience and move forward. Empowerment also comes from understanding that you are enough just as you are. You don't need validation from others to know your worth. Your value comes from within. By embracing this truth, you strengthen your inner foundation and become less susceptible to external influences. In conclusion, recognizing and overcoming external influences is about taking back your power. It's about being mindful, setting boundaries, surrounding yourself with positivity, and practicing self-compassion. By applying these Buddhist principles, you can maintain your inner peace and live a more empowered life. Thank you for watching this part of our series on Don't Give Your Power to Others. Stay tuned for the next part, where we'll dive deeper into the power of inner peace and how to cultivate it. Lesson 6, The Power of Inner Peace. Have you ever felt completely at ease, like nothing in the world could disturb your calm? This feeling is the essence of inner peace a powerful state that Buddhism teaches us to cultivate. Imagine living your life without being easily shaken by external events. Imagine feeling grounded, serene, and in control, no matter what happens around you. This is the power of inner peace, and it's something we all can achieve. In Buddhism, inner peace is not just a luxury. It's a necessity. It's the foundation for a happy, fulfilled life. When you have inner peace, you don't easily give your power away to others. You become a fortress of calm, a beacon of stability, even in the most turbulent times. Inner peace allows you to navigate life with grace and confidence. 
How do we find this inner peace? The journey begins with understanding ourselves. Buddhism teaches that true peace comes from within, not from external circumstances. Often, we look outside ourselves for happiness, thinking that if we just had the right job, the right partner, or enough money, we'd be at peace. But true inner peace is independent of these things. Meditation is one of the most effective tools for cultivating inner peace. By sitting quietly and focusing on our breath, we learn to calm our minds and center ourselves. Meditation helps us detach from the constant stream of thoughts and worries that often dominate our minds. Through regular practice, we can create a space of stillness within ourselves that remains unshaken by external events. Another key aspect of inner peace is letting go of attachment. In Buddhism, attachment is seen as a root cause of suffering. When we cling too tightly to people, objects, or outcomes, we set ourselves up for disappointment and distress. Learning to let go doesn't mean we stop caring. It means we stop trying to control everything. We learn to accept life as it is with all its ups and downs. Compassion is also crucial for inner peace. When we cultivate compassion for ourselves and others, we soften our hearts and open ourselves to love and kindness. This doesn't just make us feel good. It also strengthens our inner peace. Compassion helps us see beyond our own struggles and connect with the shared human experience. Inner peace is deeply connected to mindfulness. By being fully present in the moment, we can let go of regrets about the past and worries about the future. Mindfulness teaches us to experience life as it unfolds, without getting caught up in judgments or expectations. This presence of mind is a cornerstone of inner peace. Forgiveness is another powerful practice for achieving inner peace. Holding on to grudges and resentments only harms us. When we forgive, we free ourselves from the burden of anger and bitterness. Forgiveness is a gift we give to ourselves, allowing us to move forward with a light heart. Gratitude is a simple yet profound way to cultivate inner peace. By focusing on what we have, Rather than what we lack, we shift our mindset from scarcity to abundance. Gratitude reminds us of the beauty and blessings in our lives, fostering a sense of contentment and peace. Living in alignment with our values is essential for inner peace. When our actions reflect our deepest beliefs, we feel a sense of integrity and wholeness. This congruence between our inner and outer lives brings a profound sense of peace and satisfaction. Creating a peaceful environment can also support our inner peace. This doesn't necessarily mean having a perfectly tidy home. It means creating a space that feels nurturing and calming. Simple changes, like decluttering, adding plants, or playing soothing music, can make a big difference. Engaging in activities that nourish our souls is vital for inner peace. Whether it's spending time in nature, practicing a hobby, or connecting with loved ones, these activities replenish our energy and bring joy to our hearts. Making time for what we love is a powerful way to maintain inner peace. Setting healthy boundaries is crucial for protecting our inner peace. It's important to know our limits and communicate them clearly to others. This might mean saying no to certain demands or taking time for ourselves when we need it. Healthy boundaries help us preserve our energy and well-being. Self-care is an essential practice for maintaining inner peace. This includes taking care of our physical, emotional, and mental health. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, adequate sleep, and time for relaxation are all important components of self-care. When we care for ourselves, we create a solid foundation for inner peace. Cultivating patience is another important aspect of inner peace. Life often doesn't go according to our plans, and it's easy to become frustrated or upset. Patience allows us to remain calm and composed, even when things don't happen as quickly or smoothly as we'd like. It helps us stay grounded in the present moment. Embracing simplicity can also enhance our inner peace. Often, we clutter our lives with unnecessary things and activities, which can lead to stress and overwhelm. By simplifying our lives, we can focus on what truly matters and create more space for peace and tranquility. Practicing acceptance is key to inner peace. This means acknowledging reality as it is, rather than resisting it. 
Acceptance doesn't mean giving up or being passive. It means recognizing what we cannot change and focusing our energy on what we can. This shift in perspective can bring immense peace. Engaging in acts of kindness can also foster inner peace. Helping others not only makes the world a better place, but also brings joy and fulfillment to our own lives. Small acts of kindness, like a smile or a helping hand, can create ripples of positivity that enhance our sense of inner peace. Finding purpose and meaning in life is essential for inner peace. When we have a sense of purpose, we feel motivated and inspired. This doesn't have to be something grand. It can be as simple as doing what we love or helping others. A sense of purpose gives our lives direction and meaning, contributing to our inner peace. Finally, remember that inner peace is a journey, not a destination. It's something we cultivate daily through our thoughts, actions, and practices. There will be times when we feel more peaceful than others, and that's okay. The important thing is to keep nurturing our inner peace and making it a priority in our lives. By cultivating inner peace, we reclaim our power. We become less reactive, more resilient, and better equipped to handle life's challenges. Inner peace is a gift we give to ourselves, and it's one of the most empowering things we can achieve. So, embrace the journey to inner peace and discover the profound power it holds. Lesson 7. The Importance of Self-Compassion Welcome back to Wisdom Woven. In this part, we will explore the vital role of self-compassion in reclaiming your personal power. Stay with us to discover how this simple yet profound practice can transform your life. Imagine this. You're going through a tough time, and a friend offers you a shoulder to cry on. They listen without judgment and comfort you with kind words. Now, imagine giving yourself that same level of care and understanding. That's what self-compassion is all about. Self-compassion involves treating yourself with the same kindness and concern you would show a dear friend. It's about recognizing your struggles without being overly critical of yourself. In our busy lives, we often forget to be kind to ourselves. We tend to be our harshest critics, constantly judging our actions and decisions. This negativity can drain our energy and weaken our sense of self-worth. Buddhism teaches us that suffering is a part of life, but we don't have to suffer alone. By practicing self-compassion, we can ease our own suffering and build a stronger, more resilient self. When we are compassionate towards ourselves, we acknowledge our pain and difficulties without adding more negativity. We learn to accept our imperfections and embrace our humanity. This doesn't mean we ignore our mistakes or flaws. Instead, we approach them with understanding and a willingness to grow. Self-compassion helps us learn from our experiences and become better versions of ourselves. One powerful way to cultivate self-compassion is through mindfulness. By being present in the moment, we can observe our thoughts and feelings without getting caught up in them. Mindfulness allows us to recognize our suffering and respond to it with kindness. It helps us break free from the cycle of self-criticism and negative thinking. Another key aspect of self-compassion is self-care. Taking time to rest, eat well, and engage in activities that bring joy can significantly improve our well-being. Self-care is not selfish. It's essential. When we take care of ourselves, we replenish our energy and become more capable of handling life's challenges. It's also important to practice self-forgiveness. We all make mistakes, and holding on to guilt or shame only weighs us down. Forgiving ourselves frees us to move forward with a lighter heart. Remember, self-compassion is a journey, not a destination. It's something we need to practice regularly. Over time, it becomes a natural part of our lives, empowering us to face difficulties with strength and grace. Buddhist teachings emphasize the importance of loving-kindness, or metta. This principle encourages us to cultivate compassion not just for others, but also for ourselves. When we are kind to ourselves, we create a ripple effect that extends to those around us. Our improved well-being allows us to be more present and supportive for others. So, start today by being a little kinder to yourself. Acknowledge your efforts, celebrate your achievements, and forgive your mistakes. 
You deserve the same compassion you readily give to others. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of self-compassion. Stay tuned for the next part, where we'll delve into the empowering practice of meditation. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven for more insights on reclaiming your personal power. Lesson 8, The Path of Meditation. Meditation is the heart of Buddhist practice and a powerful tool for reclaiming your personal power. Imagine finding a calm, serene space within yourself, no matter what chaos surrounds you. This is what meditation offers, a sanctuary of peace that you can access anytime, anywhere. Meditation doesn't have to be complicated. Let's start with a simple question. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by your thoughts and emotions? Imagine if there was a way to calm that storm. Meditation is that way. It's like having a remote control to turn down the volume of life's noise. Picture this, you're sitting comfortably, your eyes gently closed. You take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, you feel a wave of relaxation wash over you. This is the beginning of a meditative practice, where you focus on your breath and let go of the day's stress. Welcome to Wisdom Woven. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more insights on living a balanced, empowered life. As you settle into meditation, you might notice your mind wandering. This is perfectly normal. The goal isn't to stop your thoughts, but to observe them without judgment. Each time you notice your mind drifting, gently bring your focus back to your breath. This simple act of returning to the present moment strengthens your mental clarity and resilience. One of the most beautiful aspects of meditation is that it teaches you to be present. In our fast-paced world, we often forget to appreciate the here and now. Through meditation, you learn to savor each moment, finding joy in the simplicity of being present. Consider the story of a monk who was once asked how he finds peace amidst the chaos of life. His answer was simple. When I walk, I walk. When I eat, I eat. This profound wisdom underscores the power of mindfulness fully engaging in each activity without letting your mind wander to other concerns. Meditation also helps you develop a deeper understanding of yourself. As you sit in stillness, you become more aware of your thoughts, emotions, and patterns of behavior. This self-awareness is the first step towards making positive changes in your life. You begin to see where you're giving away your power and how you can reclaim it. Another key benefit of meditation is stress reduction. Studies have shown that regular meditation can significantly lower levels of stress and anxiety. When you're not constantly overwhelmed by stress, you can make more thoughtful decisions, maintaining control over your life. Meditation cultivates patience and compassion, both towards yourself and others. As you practice, you learn to be kinder to yourself, acknowledging that it's okay to make mistakes and grow from them. This self-compassion empowers you to handle life's challenges with grace and strength. Furthermore, meditation connects you with your inner wisdom. In the quiet moments of meditation, you may find insights and answers to questions you've been grappling with. This inner guidance helps you navigate life's complexities with confidence. The beauty of meditation is that it can be practiced anywhere. Whether you're sitting at home, waiting in line, or taking a walk, you can take a few moments to focus on your breath and center yourself. This flexibility makes it a practical tool for maintaining your power throughout the day. Meditation also encourages a healthier perspective on life's ups and downs. Instead of reacting impulsively to challenges, you learn to respond with calm and clarity. This shift in perspective helps you maintain your power, even in difficult situations. As you continue to meditate, you'll likely notice a positive shift in your overall well-being. You'll feel more grounded, balanced, and in control of your emotions. This inner stability is a cornerstone of personal power. It's important to remember that meditation is a practice, not a destination. There will be days when it's easier and days when it's more challenging. The key is consistency. Even a few minutes of meditation each day can have a profound impact on your life. To get started, find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. Sit comfortably, close your eyes, and take a few deep breaths. 
Focus on the sensation of your breath as it enters and leaves your body. If your mind wanders, gently bring it back to your breath. Start with just a few minutes and gradually increase the time as you feel more comfortable. As you integrate meditation into your daily routine, you'll begin to notice its transformative effects. You'll feel more empowered, more in control, and more connected to your true self. This inner strength is the essence of reclaiming your power. Remember, the journey of meditation is personal. There's no right or wrong way to do it. What's important is that you find a practice that resonates with you and stick with it. Over time, you'll discover the immense benefits of this ancient practice and how it helps you reclaim your power from within. Incorporating meditation into your life is a powerful step towards living more authentically and confidently. As you continue on this path, you'll find that your power is not something to be given away but something to be cherished and nurtured within yourself. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of meditation and personal power. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven for more transformative insights. Conclusion, embrace your power. You've embarked on a journey, a journey to reclaim your power, a journey that can transform your life in profound ways. As we conclude, let's reflect on the wisdom we've woven together. Think of a time when you felt truly empowered, when you embraced your strengths and faced life's challenges head on. Remember the sense of freedom and confidence that surged within you. That power resides within you, always accessible, waiting to be acknowledged and nurtured. Throughout this video, we've explored the teachings of Buddhism, a path that offers timeless insights into the nature of personal power. But these teachings are not confined to any one belief system. They speak to the universal human experience. We've learned that personal power isn't about control or dominance over others. It's about self-awareness, self-compassion, and inner peace. It's about recognizing that true strength comes from within, from aligning with our authentic selves. So, as you continue on your journey, remember to cultivate mindfulness, to observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment. Practice detachment, letting go of the need to cling to external validations or outcomes. Embrace the power of self-compassion, treating yourself with kindness and understanding, especially in moments of struggle or self-doubt. And don't underestimate the power of meditation, of quieting the mind and connecting with your innermost being. But most importantly, remember that you are not alone on this journey. Reach out to others for support, share your experiences, and learn from each other. Together, we can create a world where personal power is not wielded as a weapon but embraced as a gift. So, my dear viewers, as we part ways for now, I encourage you to carry this wisdom with you, to weave it into the fabric of your daily life. Let's empower ourselves and each other to live authentically, compassionately, and joyfully. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Until we meet again, may you walk the path of life with courage, grace, and boundless inner strength.